Hey, what's up everybody? We're doing a little addition today on my 2023 Jeep Wrangler Jeep Beach Edition. We're doing a little speaker install. Um, the reason I'm posting this is because I couldn't really find anything on out how to do it. Um, so we're going to be installing the MB Quartz tailgate speaker with a 12 inch. It is model number MBQJL-302. Um, it's going to go on the back tailgate here. Um, I was kind of like trying to figure it out. It comes with a little box of parts. Um, it's random, no instructions. Uh, just a bunch of screws and studs and L brackets. Um, just some stuff that had no idea what I was doing. I never had to install one of these and couldn't really find any good content on doing it. Um, so the first thing I did was I thought this whole panel just came off and then it mounted right up to it, but I was wrong, of course. Um, uh, so it does just pop off once you get it started. struggle one hand um and then there's all that back there um but then i tried to like just sit the speaker up against it i figured it was gonna like fill the whole void but there was still like all of this area over here that wasn't even covered and i had already started this but i stopped and said oh let me just maybe help somebody else out um and so i just stopped and started recording where i was at and the part i had got to was the part about how do I mount these studs and how do I mount these brackets and everything else. Um, well, after I got it taken off here, um, these holes were not there before. I did have to add those. Um, over here, I just held it up against the tailgate and right where those little points are sticking out here, um, there was like little dots that were on the panel for the tailgate. Um, so what I did was I took and drilled them out. Um, I just went up size by size on my drill bit until I got the correct size to fit the studs that were actually in this kit. Um, and then also what we're gonna have to do is take this front panel here the one that says jeep on it we're gonna have to take that out because that's no longer gonna fit with the new studs and i really don't want to drill that jeep out you could probably leave it and drill it out just the same um but i'm choosing not to so i'm gonna choose to take this out and just roll with it as is um, because the speaker is going to actually cover up that whole section right there where that's out at. Um, so that's not a big deal. Um, so now I'm going to snap all this back on right quick. And I'm going to do this with you guys. I'm going to try to figure it out as I go. I just want to get you to the point where I ain't got to take everything back apart and, you know, kind of like redo it and everything because it's kind of senseless. Uh, but I'm going to take that, pop that speaker back out. And then I think first things first is we're going to get all these parts laid back out that I had laid out before. I just wanted to show you the bag and the kit and how it came to me. Um, it seems pretty, pretty basic once I thought about it. I think I was kind of trying to overthink it but i don't know my son said i was overthinking it so i just kind of stepped back and looked at it and you know it is what it is um but here's the studs i was talking about there's two long ones and then there's two short ones as well and as far as the the bolts it comes with the bolts are the exact same um except for one of them is a flathead which I'm thinking is going to be used for the bottom because the L bracket hooks to it and hooks flat to the speaker. Um, so, yeah. 
Uh, and then it also came with two little screws. They're like torque screws. Um, they're gonna go into the bottom of the speaker box. Once you get the L brackets connected here, um, they're gonna go here, I guess. That's what it looks like. Um, they should be, like, just go right in there. Uh, but just give me one second. I'm gonna go get some more tools and I'm gonna pause it and be right back. 